All right, the bugs in our next story cannot sting you, but they're just as annoying for some. Yeah, get ready for the rhythm of the night because this is the year of the cicada, the first in 17 years. And they're especially loud along rivers, like the Platte. In KETV News Watch Evans, Devontae McKenna reports from Gretna. After 17 years underground, cicadas are emerging. The biggest issue associated with them is when the females are laying eggs. They cut little slices in tree branches, and sometimes that creates what we call flagging damage, and the twig can break. And on young trees, this can be very problematic. A great food source for other wildlife, cicadas also return a lot of nutrients to the soil as they die off. But their time above ground together is actually for their benefit. And that's their survival mechanism. If we all hatch at the same time, we have this big mass, you can't eat all of us, somebody's going to live and reproduce. Besides appearing all at once, the noise also noteworthy. Some people are bothered by the noise that they create. And we can thank the males for that one. And if you think right now is the loudest they'll get, think again. Once the soil hits about 60 degrees, even more will emerge. The rain is, is sort of slowing them up. It's harder to get out of the ground when it's all wet. For many of you, if you step outside right now and look at the ground, you might see holes like this. And that means cicadas have probably emerged and are resting on nearby trees. After 17 years of living underground, they have about five weeks left remaining in their lifespan. They're more of an eastern species. They just, there's not a lot of trees in, traditionally in the plains area. And so they never got any further west. Location, we understand why. Timing, not so much. The every 17 year emergence is still a mystery of its own. The next time we'll see them, 2032. In Gretna, Devontae McKenna, KETV, Newswatch 7. And you won't find any cicadas farther west than Nebraska. You know, many people actually eat cicadas, oh. everything from soup and sandwiches to what? To ice cream. <sighs> No? You know, they're white. The, the, uh -huh. Yeah, they're creepy. Looking. I hear those are the low fat cicadas. I bet, yeah, they're actually you know, better for you. You know, they just kind of blend in the vanilla <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> well, no, no cicadas in one of our next stories. Still plenty of flavor, though, from red velvet to cotton candy, all created by Starbucks customers. Plus, a story that'll leave you.